talk to you about how to create content from your podcast interview. And I really like podcast guesting and hosting my own podcast because in any given interview, whether it's a 15 minute interview, 30 minute interview, upwards to a 60 minute interview, there's so much content that you can create from your podcast interviews and it just makes it easy. I found that when I wanted to go out there and continue to build my brand, it was just more difficult trying to create content, just trying to think about what should I create, trying to sit down and write out the posts. And I found that by having a podcast and by, by podcast guesting, it just made it so much easier for me to create my content. And what I mean by that is that you can have a 30 minute podcast interview. And within that 30 minute podcast podcast interview, you could realistically have five to seven one minute clips, even 10 or more clips. And you can think about if you have 10 clips and you're posting every day, or let's say Monday to Friday, that's two weeks worth of content from one podcast interview that you've done. And what I like to do is I want to share my content on all the different platforms. So if I'm sharing, if I'm creating the content, I want to have some optimized for LinkedIn. So you're looking at your more rectangle shape. And then if you're looking at your like your YouTube shorts and your Instagram reels, you want it to be more vertical and skinnier. And I find that you can do that with the podcast interviews that you have. And it just makes it super beneficial for you to go out there and share the interviews that you've done on social media. So I might take those 10 clips and I'm going to create five for LinkedIn. I'm going to create five for YouTube, or maybe I have 10 total clips and I format them. So I have 10 for LinkedIn. 10 for the YouTube shorts or Instagram reels or TikTok, wherever I want to put out that content. And by doing these podcast interviews, it allows you to do that. Now you may be thinking, okay, I don't have any editing experience. So there's a couple of ways that you can edit your podcast interviews. One, you could go out and you could hire someone. I did this a little bit off and on. I found it was more difficult. And I don't know if that was on me as the person trying to hire someone or the person I just thought was going to do a better quality job for the standards that I had I had set for them. But nonetheless, when you're creating these posts, you just want to make sure it matches the look and feel colors of your brand. I typically recommend putting subtitles in. So if some if you're doing a video, you know, content and someone's watching it on Instagram but they're not listening to it, at least they'll be able to read what you're saying. With that said, something that I have noticed is there there's a lot of tools out there that you can use to create subtitles for your social media post, but just make sure you go through and you rewatch the clip and edit the subtitles. It's not going to be perfect. I find that probably about 80% of the subtitle is correct of me talking and what I'm talking about, but the other 20%, the, um, the sentence structure isn't right. The word is misspelled. So I have to go back and, and edit it. And again, we're talking a one minute clip. So it might take a, a few extra minutes of my time. So there's different tools that you can use. So one, you can just use like, different AI tools. One tool that I like to use is called Capwing. So I did a podcast interview with Jeremy Roll, a very successful passive investor and investor. And I basically took his interview. And for those that are listening, I use a tool called Capwing. And when you hop onto Capwing on the homepage, there's a repurpose content button and you can upload the podcast interview to there. For those watching on YouTube, this is exactly what it looks like. So you can see from the interview, and I forget how long I'd spoken to Jeremy. It was about 25, 30 minutes, I believe. And you can see all the different pieces of social media content uh, created here. So it created 10 different pieces of content. You can structure the format. Do you want? It, how do you want it to look? And there's just so many things that you can do with using it. You can put in emojis. What do you want the ratio to be? Do you want it to be YouTube? You know, do you want to fix the square and have it be more of a YouTube? And you go back and you can edit it a little bit more. So it just makes it easier. And then you can edit each one. So you would edit it as a project and it would open up as a project. And then you could go and edit it even further. And you could add in some stock footage. And I think for Capwing, I pay like 24 bucks a month. And I might be even cheaper if you pay for it on a yearly subscription. And boom, it took me. I mean, I did the podcast interview and then I uploaded it. And then from there... And then maybe it took 30 minutes to create all these posts and boom, I have 10 and now I can go through and maybe spend another hour or two editing these down or I could have someone on my team going through and editing them. So there are tools out there 
Because I find that the hardest part of creating the social media content, especially when we're talking about video content, is figuring out where should we pause the clip. So that could be a little bit time consuming if you think about it. I'm going to go back through and listen to the interview. Okay, Jeremy talks about this concept from four minutes to four minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, mark that down. I'm going to go back through. I'm going to splice it up. This just takes care of all of that and it just makes it super simple. So going back to what we're looking at. So you can use the AI tools like I mentioned. Capwing, I really prefer it. You can use a transcription to pull quotes. So for our transcription, we use Riverside to record our podcast interviews. So it'll automatically transcribe the podcast interview, which is nice. But if you're a guest and you're like, how can I transcribe it? You can use a tool called, Dis- I believe it's called Descript. Is the tool that I know a lot of folks use. And you can basically take it and you can pull quote cards using a, a tool called Canva. And a quote card would be like something that you said in the podcast interview. And again, you could share this on social media. I find the transcript is easy because you can easily just breeze through it and you can pull out exactly what you said. So you can use that quote card. And then what I re- recommend using Canva is Canva is going to allow you to design it professionally. And we use Canva. And again, it's pretty affordable. You're looking at like 12 bucks a month to use it. So between that and Capwing, you're looking at about 36 a month. I don't recall how much Descript is just because I don't use it as our company. But say even if it was like 15, 20 bucks a month, 50, 60 bucks a month, you can create a ton of social media content. And then you can, because you have transcribed your content, you can use that as a blog post. So whatever you talked about in the interview, you could transcribe it. And obviously you're going to need a little bit more editing down to it from there you can't just pull the transcription throw it up on your website and call it a blog post you'll have to edit it put in some headers and and different things like that make it a little bit easier to read and that's a little bit more time consuming but again that could either be you that could be someone on your team to create these blog posts so i definitely recommend that tool as well so just a quick recap you can create a multitude of content from your social media or from your podcast interviews to put out there on social media you can display it across all the different social media platforms you can use tools I recommend using like Capwing. There's, you can also use uh, transcriptions to pull quotes and then create quote cards using Canva. And then you can transcribe the entire interview into a blog post. But I hope this was super helpful for you on how you can create content from your podcast interview.